Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Nick Armenis, your friendly Google Ads guy. And in today's video, I wanna take you through a Google Ads focused product research strategy for those of you that are struggling to come up with product ideas. Uh, this should help you kind of, at the very least, start thinking, start the way you should be thinking with product research. Um, Product research, there's no wrong or right way to do it. This is just the really top level way that I find works for Google Ads. The great thing I like about product research with Google is that really the product doesn't need to be trending. It doesn't need to be a hot in thing right now. Those can sell well on Google, but that's not a requirement. This isn't Facebook ads. But that said, a lot of the high uh, volume Facebook ad selling uh, products can do really well on Google because a lot of people, well, a good chunk of people will start doing a bit of research on these products once they see them on their newsfeed on Facebook, Instagram, and things like that. So it can generate search volume. But that you don't need to have that. Very ordinary products can sell well on Google and many, many people can be selling the same thing and still be profitable, which is that really interesting thing with it. I will say though that it's much less likely that a one product store can do well on Google. Uh, it can still do well, but it needs to have generated enough interest on other platforms most of the time, or the search volume needs to be really, really high. Otherwise, I find that you hit um, a really max, your, your scalability hits a ceiling really, really quickly. And I find with Google that multiple, I guess, winning, I don't like that term, but multiple high performing products tend to drive a lot of the sales. So you can't just have one, normally you'll have five, 10, 15, 20 products that are selling reasonably well. They're not all hitting crazy numbers, but together they can make a really, really solid amount of revenue. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna take you into a little guide I've made and then I'll walk you through how I do this and really it's just to get you in the mind frame of how to do it and then you can kind of find your own way start brainstorming. If you do this process regularly, I guarantee you will get better at it. And over time, you will see much, much better results. So let's jump into my best strategy for product research for Google Ads. Okay, so step one, I like researching really broad problems or niches. So this could be something like top level health or hiking or outdoors. How high or how deep you go into it, this doesn't really matter, but I find that once we get to step two and we narrow down these topics, it really becomes important to go as narrow as possible into these subtopics. These, which is step two, is the we're narrowing down the initial broad problem. So it could be something like, I want to improve my health, poor health. Or from there you might go, pain. I have back pain, I have knee pain. And then we find solutions by narrowing it down. Once we narrow down these things, so you say we've got lower back pain, we can then go and find products on Google Shopping, Amazon, and things like that to, I guess, uh, solve that problem need desire. This is how we need to start thinking about it. From there, we're going to make a product ideas list on a spreadsheet, and we'll dive into this spreadsheet in a second. Um, we're gonna narrow it down further based on price point and margin. So I prefer higher ticket products, but it doesn't it doesn't have to be. But realistically, you, you don't want any less than $30 in my view profit margin, because if you don't have that, a lot of the time it's very hard to be profitable with your ads. I know some people say $10, $20. I think you should be aiming for $30 profit for the most part, um, not for every single product, you can have some that are less, but your mix of products should be at least $30 of profit. Otherwise, getting a cost per conversion lower than that these days can be tricky. It is possible, but it can be tricky. From here, guys, we wanna check that we can actually source this product. If we can't source the product, then there's not really much point going much further, but this step is actually easier than you think. Most of the time, you'll be able to source an equivalent product or similar. It might just take a bit more research. You might have to go outside of AliExpress. And I don't know if you've seen my recent video. I'll show you how to find suppliers outside of AliExpress. Um, from here, we're going to validate. So I call this validation phase one. We're gonna check the product is actually in demand and has good search volume. We're gonna do this in the Google Keyword Planner. Don't worry, I'm going to show you this. Um, ideally, you want thousands of searches, not hundreds, but it depends on your country. 
Don't worry about this step too much again, guys, because even a small country like Australia with 25, 26 million people, you'd be surprised how quickly even those ones that are hundreds and tens can add up in the keyword planner. Because remember, it's just the, the, the number it's giving you is an estimate and it's just on that individual search term. Remember all the similar search terms where one letter might be different, one word, they add up really quickly. So, but if we're getting thousands, we've got a higher chance of hitting bigger numbers. So the more search volume, the better, but also normally the more competition. Uh, as I said before, Google normally requires more winning products, not a single. Um, so you'll find that uh, don't worry about this step too much because you're going to need to do it quicker more because you're going to want to have more products there to be able to hit your revenue targets. So phase two, we're going to also check our competitors' websites, their social media ads and things like that to see if we can make any improvements to their landing pages, their marketing. Uh, and the like, because while I do mainly run Google ads, I find that Google ads benefit from having social media ads as well. So at the very least, I will be remarketing to people on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and the like, okay? Because it generates, it, it, it creates an omnipresent strategy where people just keep seeing your ads, right? Uh, and on top of that, if you're running cold traffic as well, it generates more search interest, which improves your Facebook, ad, which improves your Google ads, improves your branded search ads, your shopping ads, all of that. And step eight, we're gonna have uh, a step that I like. It's, it's an optional step, but to really complete the loop, um, it probably needs its own video, but I wanna touch on it so you think about it when you're doing it. It's average order value and repeat purchase optimization. So this is where we find similar products uh, and we come up with offers to encourage repeat purchases. This might be through email marketing, SMS marketing, um, one-click order upsells, things like that. But also just having a store filled out with similar products so that people will come back to our store and buy from us more than once. Because once we've paid all this money to get them to our store, we want to make sure we're extracting as much revenue out of that customer as possible. This is a really, really um, missed upon step in the online marketing space on YouTube. If you're not extracting that maximum amount of value out of your customers, you've really left a lot of money on the table and it's what separates quite often profitable businesses from unprofitable because the front end now is very hard to be profitable. It has been for years really, three, four years at least. And so these are the eight steps that I take to do some product research. I'll quickly take you through it it probably needs a really big video on this, but I wanna show you top level because I'm trying to get my content game back up. So I don't wanna do videos that are too long and boring. I'm trying to keep them short, but just to give you an idea of what I do, here's my product ideas spreadsheet. It's got two tabs. I've got the broad ideas and the product ideas. The broad ideas are exactly what I said before. So we've got a really top level idea, which might be health, or it might be an individual problem. It could be like poor health, um, pain, and then from there, we'll go, okay, what's the issue? Well, maybe it's maybe I've got a sleep issue. Um, if it's pain relief, okay, what is it? It's back pain. So just keep drilling down further and further. Um, some of these, there's no wrong or right way that I like to do this. This just starts to give me ideas because what I can do with all of these is like back pain, I can start going into Google Shopping and Amazon and going back pain products, how to relieve back pain. And you will see heaps of people are already selling products, we'll then try and source it. So other ideas are fitness. Well, what comes with fitness? Weight loss. We can look at weight loss products and then we can drill deeper. Weight loss, okay, maybe we'll do slimming products, which is like belly slimmers, bum slimmers, what, whatever it is you wanna do. Massage, so massage guns. We just keep drilling down. Gym equipment, bench presses, um, squat racks, things like that. And don't be scared to come up with a silly idea. This is just to get that brain moving, activated, and making sure that we're getting into a habit of trying to do this and, and really exercising that part of our brain because it's tricky. Um, I haven't done a lot of it lately and this exercise was really, really hard for me. And I used to do it as a job, as I've said, for many, many years. So getting to the habit of it, just there's no, there's no silly um, answer or thing you can put in here. But leave in the comments below, like what sort of products are you looking at? What are you interested in? What can I delve deeper for you? Like I've got here as well, tools, garden tools, garden sheds, outdoor furniture, anything that's related to the outdoors, greenhouse, planter boxes. I knew someone during COVID that made 
an absolute fortune with planter boxes as everyone got into gardening. Um, automotive, you know, there's so many different things, parts, window shades, cleaning, toolkits, bull bars, light bars. You might need to find suppliers who don't even drop ship to convince them to do it. Like th these are all the steps you need to take if you want to make like a really cool, um, um, profitable business and stand outside of the crowd in today's e-commerce climate. So from here guys, let's come up with a product idea for potentially, let's do it for, maybe we'll go for knee pain, okay? So we'll jump into Google and we will go knee pain. And let's see what comes up in the uh, Google Shopping tab. We straight away start to have lots and lots and lots of product ideas. Um, and what I like to do is I like to look at the ones that are either gonna be high margin, high value, or unique. So this one here, I really think is quite interesting because I myself would use something like this. $39 is on the lower end, but it's definitely one we could add to the list. Um, I like these sort of knee brace um, ideas as well because they're quite easy to brand, quite easy to add with your logo. Um, this is an electric heated knee massager. Let's jump into this because this kind of appeals to me. This straight away I go, okay, it's a bit higher ticket. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna add it to our spreadsheet. I'm going to put it in here. Add it here and we're going to, let's add the title as well. We can review the landing page while we're here. And you can already see that they've actually optimized their product name for Google Shopping as well. Heated cordless compression knee massager for arthritis and pain relief. There's two things there, arthritis and pain relief. That would have absolutely massive search volume. We will look at the search volume now. We're gonna found it on Google Shopping. Supplier link. So let's go compression knee massager and put this into AliExpress just as a starting point to see if we can actually find it. And straight away, here we go, we've found it. This is roughly the product. It's not the exact same one. This could be more similar, but basically we are finding a similar thing. It doesn't have to be the exact same thing. So for argument's sake, let's jump into this one here. We can find a more specific one down the track if we need to, but we straight away know we can get something similar around the $32 mark. So this product is selling at $139.99. The cost price we just had was, we're gonna say, let's let's say it's 45 because it is a bit more, this is a bit different. So I'm just trying to roughly see if we've got enough margin in here. Okay, so we're left with $94 in profit. Again, really, really top level here, guys. It may be more expensive. We may be able to charge more. We're just going through this quickly um, to show you the process. So let's go knee massager. We'll jump into the keyword planner, which you can find, find in tool and, tools and settings in your Google ad account. We go knee massager, uh, arthritis, relief. Knee pain. Just to give us some ideas of how often people are searching these kind of things. Obviously different, there's gonna be a lot of different keywords here that are applicable to this product. But even just knee massager, you know, it has 3,600 monthly searches. It's spiking upwards. You can check this on Google Trends as well. Arthritis relief is a big one. Knee pain, it gets searched hugely, 165,000 searches per month. And then all of these different things here are gonna give you more product ideas. Like you can actually go grab these, and go back into Google Shopping, grab any of these search terms, and just have a look at what sort of products pop up now. And you can just keep drilling into this and going, okay, cool, there's completely different products again. Okay, not sure how the back brace would help, but you get the idea, we're going and we just keep drilling more and more, getting more and more ideas. So search volume, we're gonna go definitely, definitely, definitely well over 100,000. 
Can marketing improvements be made? So it's a relatively good uh, product page, but I think with a little bit of help, adding more reviews, better logo, um, you can definitely make some improvements quite easily. Let's see if they're running any uh, other types of ads for this. So let's have a look at what their, their um, Facebook page is called. Facebook page doesn't exist, not a good sign. Let's see if we can find knee massager. Here's some examples of these. It's not them, but I'm sure you would be able to find them. Straight away, you can actually find more products. Like you could find a shoulder brace for shoulder pain. You could find um, products for tennis professionals. You might have a store around that. Remember, this is also a way to generate, like if, if you don't know what type of store to start, have find something with some search volume that can get a bit of a following behind it that appeals to a niche market like tennis players or things like that. The more niche you can get, the actual better. Um, so that's one product straight away. You can kind of go, yes, we can make improvements there. I think while it is good, I think with a bit of effort, you can make improvements. Complementary products, I've just said, we can have, we can go back into Google Shopping. Uh, uh, we can look in here in actually Facebook ads. We can do more and more and more searching on this. Um, and there's so many tools out there to help you. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I know I rushed through it a little bit. I can't, if this does do well and people respond to it, I can do a lot more of this stuff. I just don't know if people are interested in it. I do tend to stick to the Google ad side of things, but this is an easy strategy. I know it seems too simple, but the more you do this, the better you get, the better ideas you'll generate. Make a big list and then narrow it down, okay? Hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. See you in the next one.